Hello, I am Pearl Robinson, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Welcome my uh, subscribers back to my channel, and if I have any new uh, people that are watching, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, also click on the bell beside it. This way you will be notified when I come on to do uh, new videos, to upload new videos. And also, if you don't mind, you can uh, hit the like, the thumbs up, and also you can share the video and comment. Uh, interaction, I love to uh, interact with, with my subscribers. But today, um, back, I've been doing a series of uh, encouragement videos on uh, dementia and family members who are dealing with uh, loved ones with dementia. Uh, even uh, the dementia patient, patients themselves. Uh, it Dementia is real. Dementia and Alzheimer's, uh, they're real diseases. And there are a lot of family members and patients and, that are, are dealing with this disease. And it is a, it is a, a painful uh, thing to watch. Uh, your loved ones as they decline down, as they spiral down, uh, when, when they're having their good days and, the, and their bad days. But today I want to talk about uh, once, a, once an adult and twice a child. Now, uh, the Bible talks about this in Ecclesiastes. Uh, it talks about, uh, it implies, uh, there's not a scripture that says once a child but once an adult, twice a child. But scriptures in, in the Bible implies uh, this uh, this saying. But with Alzheimer's and dementia, we have to treat it as if our loved ones are children again. And that's the only way I can put it. Um, because they act out they throw temper tantrums. They uh, they're bossy. Sometimes kids can be, you know, children can be bossy until you teach them different. Uh, kids get get a little angry when they want something and they want it right then and there. Well, we have to see our uh, our loved ones as that child. You know, once an adult and twice a child. So when we look at them, when they're doing things that we don't understand, or uh, if it's childlike, let's not criticize them because we have to always understand that it is the disease and not the person. Uh, what they're doing you know, in, in most cases, it, it's the disease. It's, it's not them. Their, their personality is changing. And, and that, I think that's the hardest thing that we have to adapt to, that, that we are losing the person that we once knew. And we have to, we have to learn how to deal with the new person they are becoming. And I think on the uh, the children, you know, and uh, family members, that can be really hard, really hard. Uh, my mother, my mother, it's hard to see her. You know, she's not in in a really advanced stage, but you know, she she's as she's getting there. So it's hard for me to see her because. You know, I knew my mother as a little girl, strong woman. I want to be like my mom when I grow up. I knew her as a teenage, you know, uh, woman, you know, uh, independent, you know, uh, loving mother, love her, love her children with all her heart. I knew her as, you know, as a young woman when I was a young woman and, you know, a middle-aged woman. Now I'm an elderly woman and you know, thank God that she's still around. She's still around. Uh, but to see her, to see sometimes her childlike 
behavior, you know, uh, it saddens me. It doesn't make me angry. I know some people, it may, it may anger, anger them. I, I guess that, for lack of a better word, uh, but we have to keep in mind that it's not them; it's the disease, and the disease can cause them to act different ways. You know, even they can even go back to when they were children. You know, sometimes I, I, you know, I have to, I have to talk to my mom, you know, as if she is a little girl, you know, and she's scared. The, the, there's fear. Fear is a, a fear and anxiety is a big part of dementia. And to see our loved ones, they are afraid. You know, but you know, sometimes I'm I'm trying to think, figure out. You know, what is she afraid of? But we don't know. So we have to remember, once an adult and twice a child. And many times we have to meet them where they're at. We have to meet them where they're at. If they're telling you, you know, uh, I'm scared, I'm, I'm this place, I'm, I'm not home, I'm, I, I need someone to pick me up, then we have to sort of take that and, and you know, and, and kind of meet them there. Okay, uh, mother, where are you? You know, and, and then you know, kind of coach them back to, back to reality, to where, where we are. You know, so it's 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 tough. It's it's sad. It saddens me, and I know it. Uh, it makes a lot of us sad to see our loved ones like that. We when, when we once knew them as you know strong and independent, and you know you know taking on life challenges and, and tests and things like that. So we have to just um, thank God that we still have them. I thank God that, that my mother is still around. Uh, I, I pray for her daily. Um, I, I, I love her. I, I don't get mad when, when, she's, when she's not with me in some things that we're talking about. She may slip sometime and say something that happened mm, maybe 20 years ago, even when she was a child. So I have to, you know, kind of sit there and, and you know, play the role with her rather than, you know, saying, you know, you know what, mother, you are a grown woman now. You're not a child. No, we shouldn't come at them like that. We shouldn't talk to them like that. That's not good for them. And, and also it makes us, you know, angry and and we shouldn't be angry when when we are with them or when we are taking care of them. We have to keep in mind now, once an adult, twice a child. And this is a, this is implied in the Bible. Amen, amen. So we um we we just love them. Uh I like to spoil my mother, you know, like like you spoil your children, you know, you buy them some some of the things they they want, but all the things they need. Well, I like to do that for my mom. You know, my mother could ask for anything, and and if I have the money to get it and the means to get it, my mother's going to get it. She's going to get it. So we have to just love them, understand that. It's not them anymore that's acting out. Uh, still create the memories. Pray for them. Love them. Hug them. Hold their hands. Let them know that, that, that you're there for them. Uh, when, when they get in uh, fear or anxiety, anxiety, let them know that things are okay. Uh, you're going to be okay. You know, I'm not going to leave you. And tell them, you know, God is with you. He's with you. And he's never going to leave you. Just encourage them spiritually and love on them. And always remember, always remember, it is the disease and, and not your loved one that's acting out, that's, that's doing these, these things, that they're doing these strange 
things that, that these strange behaviors that they're doing. Amen. Amen. So uh, to God be the glory. I pray that I've said something in this little this little segment to help somebody to understand that when uh, when they act out, just love them, love them through it. Let them know that you're there for them, that we're there for them. Amen. And always remember, always remember, once an adult, twice a child. And I think when we focus on that and treat them where they're at, I think that will help, that will help the relationship to be better or the situation to be better and we can calm them when we meet them where they're at. Once an adult, twice a child. I thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm Pearl Robinson. And uh, if you have not su subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do this today. I'm always encouraging about uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. And I'm going to do uh, come on to some uh, cancer because there are other diseases out there that people are dealing with, not just Alzheimer's and uh, dementia, but there are other ones also. So, and I'm going to be coming on, you know, praying for different uh, illnesses also, separate prayers uh, for different illnesses. So I thank you again. I'm Pearl Robinson, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.